So in a previous video, we talked about installing the Apache web server on Ubuntu. Now, there is another web server that's really popular, and that's Nginx. So let's take a look at that. This is actually a little bit easier than install. It's a little bit newer of a, a web server, and it's gaining a lot of traction. So our command is just simply sudo or sudo apt install nginx nginx and we'll password it and here goes our installation now like apache if all we're wanting to do is host a single website internally just running through this process will actually accomplish it for us in fact i'm going to do an ipa so i can pull my ip address off of this thing and then i am going to open up in another web browser here. Uh, let me put in my address. Make sure I get the right one, 134.39.161.8. And let me pull this over so you can see. Here we are, welcome to Ingenix. Now, a little bit simpler than, and cleaner than the Apache default website. And you'll notice links for online documentation, commercial support. Okay, whatever. That's all exciting. Let's take a look and see what we did. So our configuration files are going to be in the forward slash etc forward slash nginx folder. And you'll see here we've got a bunch of things that are really similar. So we have an nginx.conf. We've got sites enabled, uh, sites available. And they basically work the same way. So let's lsl for sites dash enabled. And we'll see that we have a link to our default site, which is in the sites dash available folder. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. So I'm going to nano for or nano sites dash available. And I won't put in the full path. Uh, I'll just put in the path from where I'm at forward slash default. And here's my file. And again, you're going to see a little, just like Apache, you're going to see a lot of, I want to say commentary, but let's say instructions all commented out. So commentary seems appropriate. So we have the server, uh, what we're listening on. Notice it's our default server. We can only have one default server, but we can include other virtual servers. What our location is going to be, the server name, and as you scroll down here, you're going to see, here's an example for how you would set up a virtual host. So you can do that in uh, another file to create another virtual host and then enable that. Now with um, Apache, I had to think for a minute. With Apache, we had the A2 uh, EN site to enable the site. With Nginx, we don't. So what we would have to do is create, let me clear my screen here real quick. We'd have to create a link from the file, a symbolic link from the light site, uh, sites available folder to the sites dash enabled folder. And we've got another video that we've done previously on creating uh, symbolic and hard links. So I would reference you back to that one. But that's what you're gonna see when you do your LSL for sites dash enabled. You can see that symbolic link right here. So you create it the same way to enable the site. And then just like with Apache, you'd have to reload Nginx. Now, also, let's go back to saying we were doing just a single site internally, pretty straightforward. So if you remember, in our configuration, the HTML files are in var www forward slash HTML which again is exactly the same place they were for Apache. And here you're gonna see our index.nginx-debian.html. So this is the HTML file that created the page that we saw just a couple of minutes ago. So that's how we can install Nginx. Now you don't have to enable the same type, or you don't have to go through the same process of enabling modules in Nginx that you do in Apache. So Apache actually is, in some ways, a little more flexible, I think. Uh, Nginx seems a little bit simpler. 
So it kind of depends on what you're looking for in a web server as to whether you want to use Apache or Nginx. But hopefully now if you've watched both videos, you have an idea of how you can install and configure both of them.